Greetings, I'm John Setzler and welcome back to Atlanta Grill Company. Today I'm going to fire up one of the Kamado Joe grills and we're going to make some smoked meatloaf. So let's get started. We're going to get started on our meatloaf by making our breadcrumbs. This is an Alton Brown inspired recipe, so I'm going to try to do it similar to the way he did it. I've got about four cups of croutons in a uh, measuring cup here. This is a, like a five ounce bag from the grocery store, and I chose the garlic and herb or the garlic and cheese flavored uh, croutons. We're just going to dump those into the food processor and then I'm going to put in a little bit of black pepper, some cayenne pepper, some chili powder, and some dried thyme. And I'm going to give you all of those measurements in the video description. And then I'm just going to pop my lid on and we're going to pulse that until we've got a breadcrumb consistency. <laughs> And we'll take that out and I'll measure it to see how much we've got. So I ended up with right at two cups of breadcrumbs here. So if you want to start out with just breadcrumbs and not do this process, that's about how much you need. Now that we've got our breadcrumb mixture made, we're going to make our vegetable mixture. We're going to come back to the food processor. I've got some chopped onion and some carrot. I've got some coarsely chopped red bell pepper and I've got a couple of cloves of garlic and we are going to pulse these guys not to puree them but just to get it all chopped up nice and fine and that looks pretty good this is what our mixture looks like there uh, that's fairly finely chopped and these first two steps by all means do these in advance you'll just put your veggies back in the fridge and cover your croutons until you're ready to go I've got a fire lit in the firebox of the Kamado Joe Classic uh, this is a Classic 3 we're gonna use the slow roller today and I'm gonna put the grill grates in in the mid position and we're gonna use the fireboard to run the grill today. I'm going to set up the Fireboard 2 drive to run our grill at about 325 or so. I may bump it to 350, but I'm not real sure. We're just going to let it go and see how it works. We're also going to make a glaze to uh, top this uh, meatloaf with, and I'm going to start out with some ketchup and uh, a little bit of ground cumin. I'm going to use just a dash of Worcestershire and probably we're gonna to toss in a dash of hot sauce as well and I'm just gonna take my wooden spoon here and we're gonna mix that all up I'm actually actually gonna put a little bit of honey in that also maybe a tablespoon and I'll give you all these ingredients amounts in the video description so yeah I think a tablespoon there is going to be about right and we'll just stir that all up and we'll set this aside because this is not going on until after we get the meatloaf on the grill and to finish putting our meatloaf together I'm starting out with two and a quarter pounds of ground beef and I'm going to put my vegetable mixture in there we're going to get our breadcrumbs in there and I'm just going to kind of slowly get that started. I've got one egg that's been beaten. I'm going to dump that in here and I'm just going to get in here with my hand and get this combined. And once this starts to come together I'm going to add my salt and keep on working to get this mixed up. And after I get all that combined I'm going to press it into my uh, I'm just going to use my cast iron loaf pan here and I'm going to pack that in there. You're going to need a loaf pan that's like the 5 by 9 inch. That's what this is. So if you want to do 
a loaf pan, you're going to want to make it at least that large or use even a larger pan or do this however you prefer to do a meatloaf. And now that I have that on there, that guy's ready to go to the grill. Our grill is up the temp, so I'm going to pop the lid on it. I'm going to set this right in the middle. And we're going to let this cook for about 10 or 12 minutes before we come back to this and put the uh, glaze on top. While that's cooking, I'd just like to take a moment here to ask you for your support. If you're watching this video on YouTube, please hit the subscribe button and then click the bell icon to get an alert each time we post a new video. If you're watching on Facebook, how about giving us a thumbs up or share the video if you think it's worth seeing. Your support will help us keep these channels going. We've been going about 10 minutes or so here, so I'm going to open this up and we're going to put the sauce that we made right on the top of this. And I'm just going to use my wooden spoon here to smear that all over across the top. So now, I'm going to put a meat thermometer in that, and I'm going to cook it until we get up to about 160 degrees or so. Okay, folks, about an hour and a half later, man, I've got some meatloaf magic going on here. I'm going to take this off, and uh, we're going to let it rest for a few minutes uh, before we tear into that. Man, that looks good. Okay, I've let that rest, and I've taken some out here. We're going to have a taste, and I apologize for the light here because we're cooking at a little different time of day this time, but we're going to have a taste of this. Mm. Guys, this is delicious. Uh, this is probably going to become my new go-to on the meatloaf. So give this a try. Let me know what you think. Until next time, this is John Setzler with Atlanta Grill Company.